All right, let me know when you're ready. LeBron does a lot of things that are awe-inspiring, obviously. How about last year's finals? Who could forget the phenomenal block against Tiago Splitter? Well, I've been doing this for a year, so I think this is probably my maybe sixth year doing, uh, doing voiceovers for video games. All defense, first team, five seasons running. It's very intimidating early on in the process because we do uh, the work by hours. So I know going into each year that I've got maybe 40 to 50 hours of work ahead. And the very first session, uh, you know, we'll do three or four hours and I'll finish and I'll think, oh man, I got like 47 hours left. It's a great crew to work with and we end up having a really good time together. And you kind of get some momentum and get the ball rolling in it and then it flows from there. These guys here at 2K, they encourage me to say what I think, to completely go off script if I want. It's really a good uh, formula because it's a good combination of having themes to talk about but plenty of freedom to, to stray from the script as well. well. When you look at LeBron James, maybe more than any other player in NBA history, he's great in a way that transcends positions. His combination of size, mobility, and all-around game mean you literally could line him up at any position on the floor, and he'll be able to handle it at both ends, offensively and defensively. I get calls from friends of mine all the time who say, I, I thought you were in our house today because my kid was playing the video game, and I heard your voice. I went looking for you in the in the other room, and it was just my kids playing uh, playing NBA 2K. So it's kind of it's kind of funny some of the stories I get. I've had plenty of people question uh, just my uh, strategic decision making on on the air of my video games, but um, you know that's okay. I, I I welcome all criticism.